Hello friends, this video on Amines part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. IUPAC name. Once we understand IUPAC name, we'll take more examples on common names in IUPAC name together. So in IUPAC system, the amines are named as alkane amines. Please note in the common name, it was alkyl amines. It is alkane amine and it's all derived from the alkane. So you have this word alkane, alkane, you remove E and replace with amine. So you have to remove this word E or letter E, replace with amine. This becomes alkane amine. Correct? So for example, if you see, this is 3H3NH2. It is derived from CH4, that is methane, correct? So this will be nothing but, this guy will be nothing but methane, replace E with amine. This will be methane amine. Similarly, the other guy, C2H5NH2. The other guy, C2H5NH2, let me do in green. This is from ethane. So it will be ethane amine. So E A T H E N. Don't write this letter E instead of E, write amine. So it will be ethane amine. Correct? Methane amine and ethane amine. So this is for a simple compound. So if you have the chain one, if you have chain amine and there's a higher members, so the longest chain which has the amino group is selected. For example, in this case, the longest chain is this and this has amino group so this is my chain and now the one with the carbon atom is attached given the lowest number possible so in this case i can either numbering from this side or this side both the case this carbon the star carbon here with the with the nh2 group will be given number two so it doesn't matter so let me number in this fashion because it doesn't matter if you are uh, numbering from left or right the NH2 this carbon will always get two positions so that should be fine so I can use any of the option so let me number it from left to right this is one two three so in this case this is my longest chain with three carbon and amino group at second position so it will be myth it probe so it will be probe all single bond in and at second position I have amine to amine so it is pro in amine please note here also if you see E is not there it is almost similar to alkane amine you see alkane amine the only thing is since the amine is not at the end position so we are using this number to depict the location of this amine Correct. We'll take some more examples to understand that. Now, if more than one amino group is present, for example, in this case, right, there are two amino groups present. Correct. And they are present in a different position in the chain. You see, they are at different position. So their position is specified by giving numbers to the carbon atom. And you can use suitable prefix, di, tri, depending on the number of amino group. For example, in this case, if you consider this as your chain, the longest chain with carbon, you can give this as number one, this as number two. Correct? So if you see the longest chain is how many carbon? Two. So it will be it. So it will be it. All single bond in E you should not write because E will be replaced with amine. And then at one and two position, I have amine. So one and two. Since there are two amines, I'll use this word di amine. So the name of this compound will be ethane one two di amine. Please note in this case the e of the hydrocarbon part is retained. So it will be ethane one two di amine. Correct. So if you have more than one amino group, then this is re retained here. Now, also note that 
each alkyl group bonded to an atom is named as an alkyl group. For example, in this case, if you see, this nitrogen has one alkyl group here and one alkyl group here. This is my methyl, this is my ethyl. Correct? So, if you want to write the name of this compound, this is my longest chain, obviously. Correct? This is my numbering, 1 and 2. Now, if you see, this is one more methyl group attached here. Correct. So you see, this is my longest chain, but this is my extra methyl group attached and is attached to a nitrogen. So I'll call this N methyl for this part and then my normal name. One, two is meth it. So it will be it. All single bond in and a mine in one position. So you can make it uh, say that N methylethane one amine, but one doesn't make sense. If if the amine is at one position, you need not say one. So it is N methylethane amine. This will be the name of this compound. Hope you understood. See if you have a normal amine, simple amine, you can just say as al. Cane amines, all one degree amines. For example, this is my methane amine, this is my ethane amine. If you have a higher member hydrocarbon, then you first pick the longest chain and make sure that my amine group gets the least number. So in this case, I could number from left or right. I was getting the same number, so I just took left to right convention. So this becomes with it probe. The longest chain has three carbon, it becomes probe, all single bond in. At two, I have amine, propane to amine. So if you have more than uh, one amine, so in this case, you choose the longest chain, this is ethane, and here if you see the letter E is remained, that is, that is retained, right, this, in other thing, if you see the E is not there, E is not there, right, from the alkane, E is gone, but here, E is retained, so this is ethane, and at 1 and 2, I have amine, ethane, 1, 2, diamine, correct, and in case, we don't have, these are all cases for 1 degree. For 2 degree and 3 degree amines actually, so you use this word N alkyl. Right? So in this case, if you see, instead of hydrogen, we have methyl here. So I'll use this N methyl here. N methyl and the normal name here, ethane amine. Because this is ethane amine. Now we'll take some examples to practice. This is how many degree? So if you compare this with NH3 only one hydrogen is replaced, right? And it's two hydrogens is intact. This is one degree. One degree, simple amine actually. So for this, if I want to write common name, common name as I told was alkyl amine, right? My common name is alkyl amine. And IUPAC name was alkane amine. N amine, please note, E is not there. Alkane E is not there. Yeah. So this is alkylamine, this is myth it, right? So the common name will be ethylamine. We want to write the IUPAC name for this. Will be myth it again ethanamine. Pretty easy. Let's do for this compound now. Again, here also if you see. If you compare this with ammonia, only one hydrogen is replaced. Two hydrogens are intact here, right? So this is also one degree. So one degree is also one degree. So now you can just name, if you want to write the common name, again it will be alkylamine. That is nothing but myth it probe. And with single n probe, so n propyl amine. That will be the common name. If you want to write the IUPAC name, Myth it probe, so probe, all single bond in, and instead of E, amine. It's all single, what, propanamine. Correct. Let's take this. So in this, if you see, this is also my one degree, because if you see two hydrogen is intact, only one hydrogen is replaced with this group. It's also one degree. I want to write a common name. So this whole thing is my propyl, but the carbon is attached at this position, so it's isopropyl. So the common name will be 
आइसोप्रोपाइल अमाइन करेक्ट बिकॉज अल्खाइल अमाइन फॉर्म है बट यू वॉन्ट राइट द आई यू पी एस सी नेम एज ए टोल्ड दिस चेन नाउ एंड आई टू गिव द नंबरिंग टू मेक श्योर दिस एन एस टू गिट्स द लीस्ट नंबर एल नंबर इन दिस फैशन वन टू थ्री आई एम गेटिंग एन एस टू ए सेकेंड पोजिशन एल नंबर इन दिस फैशन वन टू थ्री एल गेट एन एस टू ए सेकेंड पोजिशन बोथ आर सेम सो एल टेक इन ऑफ दीज एल टेक दिस सो दिस नेम विल बी वॉट मिथ इथ प्रो सो एट प्रो ऑल सिंगल वॉन्ड इन एंड एट टू आई हैव अमाइन टू अमाइन दिस प्रो इन टू अमाइन दैट विल बी द आई यू पी एस सी नेम फॉर दिस Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attend free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials, and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.